Hey everybody, Aaron with Vacant Land Guys. Got another property here for you. Um, yeah, this guy right here. It's an RV friendly lot, just three minutes to the beach and across the street from the ocean, or across the street from the lake. Um, it's in Ocean Park, Washington. Uh, you're about three minutes to the beach and the ocean. Uh, we're asking 17,977 or 2,000 down in 200 months, or 200 a month dollars a month for 200 months, um, which comes out to a total of. Uh, 42000 if you're going to do the terms, so you're getting a way better deal if you're doing the all-cash discount price. Um, yeah, let's take a look at it here. So this is uh, looking across the street. Um, There's a lake right there. And then, uh, so here's the lot. Lot's right here. Ocean is about three minutes, uh, 21 minutes if you're walking, three minutes by car. Maybe it's closer if you walk this way. You might be able to just go right through down this street. I don't know what's here there's public access or not but this is the way Google took me maybe it's one minute I don't know um, gotta check it out it's a pretty cool place um, yeah, here's another picture of the lot so here's a lot right here house there there's a little RV right there and they're all cut up they're all about the same size lots all along this this little area here uh, yeah, here's another angle uh, so you can see the oceans over here lots of trees in the area um, there's a golf course Pretty close by. Um, yeah, Surfside Golf Course is right here. Uh, got Skating Lake State Park here. Big lake right here. Go fishing in. Uh, go fishing in the ocean right there. I mean, all kinds of cool stuff. Little things here. Uh, furniture by Ron. Feather Freak Salmon Fly Tying Materials. There are lots of fly fishermen in the area, I guess. Um, I know if you go up in the mountains, there's a lot more mountain streams off to the, to the east. Uh, you can get up in the mountains, do some fishing up in there if you're a fly fisherman. Uh, yeah, let me show that again. So yeah, here's the lake right here. Looks like there's like a little house or something, maybe a shed or something right there. Uh, yeah, a little lake there, another little lake there. Uh, yes, but this one is uh, it's nice and level. Uh, you can do. Uh, let me show you this. Here's a golf course. Looks like you got deer running across there. Pretty cool. Surfside golf course, four minutes from the property. Um, here's a picture of the beach. Pacific Pine State Park, pretty close to the property there. Uh, yes, this is one of those flat beaches near uh, out there on uh, Long Beach. It's not like super steep, like steep like a lot of uh, Oregon beaches are. It's kind of like reminds me of uh, the East Coast where the beaches are nice and flat and level. Um, you'll have some dunes there too. Uh, yeah, it's 0 0.12 acres. Um, yeah, you're seven miles from seven miles away from Oysterville. Uh, Spend the weekend here, you know, take the family up, uh, chill out on the coast, build some memories, uh, build your beachfront retreat, zoned R1. Um, you can park an RV there for, um, I think you need a CUP uh, or CPU. I think it's supposed to be CUP, conditional use permit. Uh, 21 day uh, winter stay, and I think you can do it in the summer too. Um, I don't know how heavily these are enforced. Um, just going to say that, but. Um, yeah, you might want to talk to some neighbors and see if they, you know, if you could do year round or whatnot. Um, and there's a, here's a link to the CCNRs. Um, you can just like plug this in, click on this, and that'll take you to the CCNRs. Um, I know there's uh, this one is in uh, an HOA and it's five hundred dollars a year, and that that covers uh, all the road maintenance. So they're going to take care of the roads, you know, clean up the roads for you, make sure they're nice and in good shape, and also you get trash pickup too. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool little plot property here. Um, I'm going to jump over to uh, Google Earth and uh, show you some stuff. Here's Google Earth. I already dropped the uh, the pins in. This is the property right here. Um, just kind of show you where you are in Washington. So this is Long Beach here. Portland's here. Seattle's here. Tacoma. Uh, not too far away. I can't tell you. I can't remember exactly how far away you are from... Uh, oops. Sorry, guys. Going wrong. Clicked on the wrong thing. Um, so yeah, it's uh, how far is it from Portland? I thought I had a driving direction. Yeah, okay. Two hours twenty six minutes from Portland. Three hours twenty seven minutes to Seattle. Uh, twenty three minutes to Long Beach. Um, it's a little bigger community slash city there. Um, yeah, a cool little area. I've been out here a few times. Uh, one of my favorite vacation spots. Kind of reminds me of the East Coast where I used to go. 
lots of sand dunes all along here. Um, yeah, here's Long Beach. You got like cool little ice cream shops and all kinds of cool stuff here. This is 23 minutes south of the property. Yeah, Scoopers. Yeah, really good ice cream there. Uh, looks like they got some uh, kiteboarding or maybe like kite festival going on there. Yeah, little pictures of town. Little sculptures. Oh yeah, they have a sandcastle contest every year. Uh, yeah, they're always doing cool stuff over here. Over in Long Beach. I think they have like a, a go-kart track here too somewhere. I think that was, we tried to go, but my boy was too little. Um, yeah, there it is. A little go-kart go -kart track here. There's all kinds of little cool things like this in this town. A little go-kart track. And then there's putt-putt. We ended up doing this instead. Doing some putt-putt. That's the golf or the go kart track right there. But that's a little putt putt area. And I think there's a movie theater. I think that's a movie theater right there. Yeah, Neptune Theater. Yeah, they got all kinds of cool little restaurants and shops here. Looks like another little putt putt here. Yeah, cool. So that's Long Beach. Um, the property is about 23 minutes north of there. So here's a property. No, that's not the property. It's a little further. Here it is. So there's a property. There's that golf course we were talking about. Here's the beach. Um, I don't know, you might be able to just go right through here and, and just, oh, you have to get across this bridge here. Yeah, that would be the closest way to get to the ocean right through here. Um, yeah, cool little fun, cool little place here. Yeah, easy access right there. You can pull right in, maybe park your RV right in there, build a whole home. Yeah, looks like these are all little RVs or mobile homes in this area here. See all these? Yeah. All those little mobile homes everywhere. But, uh, yeah, what else, guys? Um, I think that's kind of it. Let's maybe take a couple little, see what else is in the area. So that's the beach, nice and flat. Nicer houses. Surfside golf course. A little lake there. I guess that's a little river. Nice houses. Yeah. Um, oh, here's Oysterville. Um, just over here. Here's a property. Here's Oysterville up here. Um, yeah, oysters. There's a lot of uh, history here, too. I was reading, like, this this old house here, or one of these houses. I think that's the house. It's like, has some historic significance. A lot of old timers hang out around here. Um, old schoolhouse there. Yeah, this is kind of a cool little area here. You have the Balapa Bay right over here on the other side of you too. You can go oyster, go get some oysters, go clam digging. I know a lot of people go clam digging on the beach on this side over here. Um, fishing, man. I mean, you can live off the land out here. Anyway, uh, I'll uh, let you guys go. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron with Vacant Land, guys. Um, give us a call, 971-225-7024. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.